Hey YouTube, this is an unboxing of the 500 gigabyte model of the PlayStation 3. I just got it in the mail today and let's see what it looks like. Let's get a knife. about the awkward camera angles. It's hard to cut and hold a camera at the same time. Okay. So let's see what we have here. I bought this from Newegg. Goodness, looks like I'm pulling intestines out of this. Yeah. Alright. Let's let me get this out of the box. One second. Okay, so here we go. It is is the box. It's the Assassin's Creed 3 bundle. 500 gigs. Let's take this thing out and see what it looks like. It would probably help to take that tape off, wouldn't it? My god, they didn't want anyone to get into this thing. One second, YouTube. Let me get this damn thing out. Okay, so I just decided to rip it because I said screw it. So the first thing you see, new controller. It's like a AV cable, it's typical. Charger cable for the controller. And then your power cord. System herself. Okay, so out of box, got it in some egg cartons, keep it safe during shipping, move it around. Now it is time. This is the new system. else in the box. Oh, I guess that would be important. PlayStation Plus 30-day free membership. Oh, awesome. Oops, grab that later. Of course, Assassin's Creed 3. And I bought this separately. Dishonor, never played it before, but it's by Bethesda, so I figure it'll be a good game. Alright, so let's get to the actual console itself. And it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which is, of course, probably more than enough, but hey, it's better more than less, right? So it looks like it, it's top loading. Oh, wow, that's flimsy. Yep. Okay. Hmm. 
Just on the side. It's pretty lightweight. Very tiny. My 60 gigabyte actually yellow lighting up on me, which is why I'm getting this. Let's put it next to it. So a size difference. Launch model versus current model. Of course, I say current model and that will probably already date the video, but nonetheless. Okay, so a lot of people don't particularly like the new look. They think it's very cheap looking, very plastic. I don't mind so much. I see it more as retro. I mean, yeah, it's not as sleek as that, but that also it seems like everybody who owns a, that model is starting to get the yellow light, so it's, it's generating a lot of more heat. This thing's not supposed to be, so I don't know, maybe by making it cheaper, somehow it's supposed to help with the heat heating issue. And, I mean, if you compare it to the older uh, classic game systems like the Super Nintendo, those are obviously not as slick as that looking, you know? So, slicker doesn't always mean better. My... The Super Nintendo I've had since elementary school still has lasted, and it's, you know, cheap, dinky, plastic looking. So, that's not necessarily a bad thing. All I care about is performance, and we'll see how it, how it does performance-wise.